battery choice, or rather power input source, is a design decision. The basic design that, I, that we're using uses two lithium ion rechargeable batteries. Each one is 3.7 volts, rated with a capacity for 24 milliamp, 2400 milliamp hours, or 2.4 amp hours. That means it can run 3.7 volts at 2.4 amps for one hour, or it can run 3.7 volts at 1.2 amps for two hours, and so on. In series, the capacity then is 3.7 volts times 2 times 2.4 amp hours, which gives us 17.76 watt hours. If we wanted to use rechargeable double A's, these are nickel metal hydride rated at 2600 milliamp hours. Each one is 1.2 volts. We would probably want to use about six of them. 1.2 times six gives us 7.2 volts times 2.6 amp hours, which is what it says on the side of the battery, gives us 18.72 watt hours. We could use more or fewer of these batteries, or these batteries, as long as we stay within our design specifications. Those design specifications, again, are our own choosing. We choose what components we use based on what we want to power it off of. If I wanted to power this off a 12 volt lead acid battery, I would use different I would use a different design. Right now, we're using a driver rated for 5 to 10 volts input power. The output of this driver goes to run our LEDs. We have chosen to run 3 LEDs in series because that works with this driver and our power source. This driver is a boost driver. It increases the voltage coming into it and coming out of it, which is the part that goes to three of these guys, is a higher voltage than what we put into it. So if we put in 7.4 volts, this is a boost driver, driver so it will increase that voltage to whatever is necessary to drive these three LEDs at one amp in high mode. That one amp is determined um, by the design of this driver circuit. It's something that's specified in the data sheet when we bought this driver. We looked at it, we saw that it was rated for 5 to 10 volts, we saw that in high mode it puts out 1 amp. We saw that it also has two other modes, low mode and a flashing mode. And that's why we selected this driver. We could have selected a driver that runs differently and uses a different, takes a different input power range or has a different output power or different number of modes. The advantage of using lithium ion batteries over regular double A's is that lithium, because it's a light element, it has a, it has a high energy density. So it has a large, uh, large capacity given its weight and its volume compared to nickel metal hydride batteries. However, you might already have a stack of these, so you might prefer to use double A's. Triple A's, D's, and C cell batteries are all running at the same voltage.
they just have different capacities. So these are rated at 2600 milliamp hours. Triple A's are often about 900 milliamp hours. Rechargeable C and D batteries are kind of funny because a lot of them are actually triple A's inside of a fat case. And so often an expensive D cell rechargeable battery will have a lower capacity than a double A, even though you paid five times as much. The manufacturer of an LED, and in fact all components, generally puts out a data sheet describing the properties, the nominal properties of the component. So we know from the manufacturer that this LED should run at about 3.5 volts. If we put three of them in series, we'll get just over 10 volts. This driver is a boost driver, so if we give it an input of under 10 volts, it will be able to power three LEDs in series. If we only had two LEDs in series, about seven volts, we'd have to power, we'd have to give an input voltage into this driver of under that seven volts. To be safe, we'd have to probably hover around five volts exactly. No less than five volts because that's below the specifications of the driver. So you have to balance things that way. You can get alternative drivers that would say run one LED off 12 volts or 10 LEDs off three volts or basically almost any variation or combination that you want. You might end up paying more for more extreme uh, combinations. LED stands for light emitting diode. So this is an LED. It's also a diode. Diodes only let current flow through in one direction. A light emitting diode is a diode that also happens to emit light when that current is passing through it. If you hook up an LED backwards, it will not light when you apply power. And in fact, you can damage it if you apply too much voltage in the reverse direction. Additionally, LEDs are controlled, their brightness is controlled by the amount of current flowing through. You can't really increase the voltage across an LED. If you try to increase the voltage, it will simply draw more current until the voltage gets pulled down to its nominal value. That value, in this case for this white LED, high power LED, it's about 3.5 volts. And that's given to you by the data sheet by the manufacturer. Um, it's designed to run at about 3.5 volts. Different colors will run at different voltages because they use different chemistries to produce that light. They have different different compounds and different elements actually functioning to, to produce different spectrums. White LEDs tend to run at about 3 to 4 volts. Red LEDs run at a lower voltage, about 2 to 2.5 two volts. Um, Green and yellow are also quite low voltage. Blue LEDs tend to run at about three to four volts as, as well as white LEDs. It's all just based on the different chemistries required to emit those lights. LEDs don't work the same way as incandescents to generate different colors. With an incandescent light, you generally just have a white or a yellow light with a, with a color filter on it. But LEDs specifically emit just those spectrums that you're seeing. 